it's now my pleasure to introduce Mayor Eddie W. Deloach. Hey, hey, hey. Good afternoon. Big day today. Big day today. We're announcing the opportunity for 500 rising seniors to have an opportunity at a job in our community. It's a really awesome opportunity for not only us, but for our businesses in our community to give back to the community in a way that they haven't had that opportunity before. Uh, we barely 60 days into our administration and with the help of all the industries that have stepped forward and the businesses that have stepped forward, Chamber of Commerce and all the members of the Chamber of Commerce, we have come a long way in developing this program, enough to where we're willing to come forward to you now and announce the fact that we are going to have a, we are going to have a job program here in the city of Savannah, something that most people don't have. We got an opportunity of 500 jobs young with a lottery, an opportunity for a child to have a job, a rising senior to have a job, a rising senior to develop their skills moving forward. We don't want to forget the original program that was in place. Steffi Cutter did a wonderful job developing that program. The pre-apprentice program that we had in place is a great program, one that we will continue to use and continue to develop because we need jobs for all of our community and for all of our kids. So as we go forward, we're going to make sure that happens. Now to get this to happen, you got to have a lot of great people. You got to have a lot of great businesses behind you. I might have the idea, I might have thought of the idea and might have wanted it to happen, but in reality, once it hits the ground, you got to have people that are willing to work. I want to name just a few, and I'm sure it'll take me a minute to say it right. I want to name City of Savannah, Savannah Country Day, I say country, Savannah Country Day, Savannah Chatham Country, Savannah Chatham County Public Schools, Savannah Economic Development Authority, Savannah Chatham County, Savannah Area Chamber of Commerce, and the Junior League of Savannah, of Savannah and of Georgia. It's very important that we identify each one of these and make sure we know what we have here. Uh, with that being said, everybody has to have a point to make something happen. My point in this whole job is Carol Bell. She's the mayor pro tem of the city, and I think it's very important that we recognize just how much she's done on this job, how much she's brought the community together, and how much the community has come together. We got people from all facets that will be a part of this, but it has to be one person that makes the call. I know I said I wanted 500 jobs. I know she thought I was crazy, but in reality, she was willing to take that and move forward with it. And we've got people in the, uh, we got Kevin Jackson that I don't think you can say more than say Kevin Jackson. Anybody that knows him knows that if he participates in something, something's going to happen. So I'm glad to have them. There's a number of other people that we're going to introduce later, but I want to make sure you realize that none of this could happen without the help of the community. And it's very important we recognize each one in this community that is participating in this. Thank you very much, and I'm going to introduce Carol Bell. Carol, come forward. Okay. I did that wrong. I need to introduce Kevin Jackson. Catfish Jackson, for all that know him, Catfish Jackson. Thank you, thank you, Mayor, thank you very much. And certainly, uh, I'm humbled to be here today as, as a representative, and uh, just to go along with uh, what Mayor Deloach said, Mayor Pro Tem, this is her brainchild, and for the city to come together in a collaborative effort, this is a program, it's the first one of its kind. Think about it, Chamber, uh, the CETA, the, this uh, county commission, the, the school board, and then of course city council. Thank you so much. And like the mayor said, we're not taking away from any other program. We're trying to develop a unified program. And all I am is a very small spoke and a large wheel, okay? I can't tell you uh, the number of hours that's been spent designing this program. So I thank everyone, Kate Westra, Martin, I mean, they work 12, 13 hours a day. 
uh, putting this together to get us to this point. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here today as a, as a representative of uh, Savannah's business community. I take that uh, very personal. I think that Savannah by far is the greatest city in the state of Georgia, so we want to make it greater. Uh, Summer 500 program will give students in our area a chance to work in industries as diverse as landscaping, lifeguards, uh, we give them OSHA 40, OSHA 10 training, uh, engineering, and today I found out that we actually can play some in a culinary program, which is fantastic. However, as we all know, true education does not consist merely in the acquiring of a few facts, but it's actually in the development of character and soft skill. And that's one thing that, you know, my time served uh, on, on Georgia Economic Development with Savannah Economic Development. Every business owner you talk to, we talk about workforce. We talk about workforce development. So we've stepped up and decided to really do something about it. Uh, the economic development community in Georgia, led by Governor Deal, has heard from the private sector that one of the greatest challenges facing business in Georgia, nationally and globally, is the need for a consistent, trained, and reliable workforce. Here's what Georgia's private sector needs are in the terms of workforce. This is a study taken from the governor's office. We, we took all this data and put it together. We need internships, co-op programs, valuable method of gaining access to training future employees, soft skills, and everybody to understand soft skills. And I saw a statistic the other day, and I, I hope it's true, and I hope I quoted it correctly, but the, a, a person, a, a, let's say he graduates from high school and he has his first job, he decided not to go to college, 89% of them lose their job because of soft skills. That's because they didn't know how to show up to work on time. So this character training, the part that we're gonna put in there eight hours every Friday, these kids get to spend with a character life lessons coach, teaching them those soft skills, teaching them how to communicate, teaching them how to interview, teaching them how to dress properly. This is a big step for us. Skilled trade workers, employees want to hire locally for jobs, but are often forced to recruit from outside of the state. Let's keep them in-house. We talk about it all the time. Here's a program that I hope is going to start out with 500, and I want to have 1,700. I know that's uh, Mayor Pro Tem and the mayor's uh, uh, expectations as well. The time to support our youth and provide them some real life experiences now. Think about it. Uh, for us in the business community, that is a no-brainer. It's an investment in our own community and companies. If we invest time and money now, we reap the rewards later. The more educated our students become, the stronger our region will be. And then we can keep Georgia number one forever. Uh, I appreciate your time. This time I want to introduce a phenomenal lady. Oh, I'm back on, whoo, I got it. Uh, you got it, all right. Thank you all. got it, okay. All right, yep, at this time, I'd like to introduce Lee Smith. Everybody knows him as the county manager. Lee Smith is going to have a few words to speak at this time. Have a great day. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. We appreciate the opportunity today um, from Chairman Scott and from the Board of Commissioners. They appreciate the opportunity. Um, as part of, I know we've got Tara Jennings here today with the blueprint for Chatham County. One of the things that absolutely came out of that are the issues that were just discussed by uh, Mr. Jackson, and that is soft skills, getting the kids to work for, and I told somebody earlier today, I've been in local government 30 years this month. Wow, Bill, that's a long time. Well, 30 years, the one thing that I have really promoted is not just internship, but mentorship. For all of us as adults to mentor young people to know how to work. And it's more than just having the math skills and the English skills and having dexterity skills, but it is knowing how to interview, how to dress, how to do those things. And um, I know that the energy is here to do this. I know we've recently sent out to all of our staff. So we've got about 1,300 people right now in Chatham County uh, with our team looking at how we might be able to use interns in our programs. I know we've used them in several, but now we're looking at courts, other areas, because we want to inspire these young people to work. We want them to go to school and stay in Chatham County and stay in the region. And uh, I'm very fortunate to know Carol Bell and to know that she's a North Carolina girl, so go Tar Heels. But anyway, uh, so we share that a lot, but I do know she's got a fire behind her and uh, she's got a spirit that doesn't quit. So we appreciate with the new administration here at the city, 
from Al Scott, uh, Chairman of the County Board of Commissioners. We're looking forward to being part of this opportunity and putting uh, kids to work, teaching them how to work, but also being mentors. And that goes to all of us. It's not just City Council, County Commissioners, Carol Bell, or Eddie Deloach. It's every one of us that needs to participate in this program. So we look forward to participation. I introduce now Mayor Pro Tem, Carol Bell. Thanks, Lee. And I want to say first that none of this could have been done had not we had the collaboration of the many, many, many partners who have stepped up and come to the table and they have um, spark, they have a spark of that same passion and that same energy and that same excitement that all of us have because we are excited because we are going to put 500, a minimum of 500 rising seniors to work this summer. Before I go further, let me recognize some of the key partners because they don't want to come up, but I think I need to ask uh, Chip Collison from Savannah Economic Development Authority, just staying here briefly, uh, <laughs> Bill Hubbard from the Chamber, uh, Jen, that was a quick say I saw. <laughs> Jen Singheiser, did I do it right? Junior Achievement Week, cannot do it without her. It's, it's the Junior Achievement uh, curriculum that we're using. Did I say it right? Junior Achievement of Georgia. Oh, Junior Achievement of Georgia. It's their curriculum that we're using on Friday to teach those soft skills that we talked about. Meg is your, uh, all of the folk who are doing PR for us, Jennifer Abshire, um, uh, Kevin from um, Savannah Tech, all of the people, and I know that somebody I'm probably forgetting, uh, I could not do it without, thank you Bill Hubbard for loaning us Drew because Drew has become my new best friend. There are so, so many of you. So now I'm gonna just say all of the committee members, please stand, go stream this year. All of you stand, come on, come on, stand, 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 briefly, 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 briefly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, my focus is on what the kids, the young people would gain from this experience. This is a chance of a lifetime. 500 rising seniors will have the opportunity to not only work, gain skill sets in the private sector, but they also will have the opportunity to be mentored by leaders, local leaders in this community. So we're excited. Needless to say, we are excited. I mean, we're just over the top because as the mayor said, I thought when he said 500, Sound a little crazy, but now when people are stepping up to the plate, honest to God, I was at a speech yesterday and he spoke and this gentleman came up to me and said, I will be hiring 40 young people this summer. So, you know, the 500 seems like a, a little thing now. We will do it. So thanks to all of you, Tara, I did not mention you. You know I can't do it without you. Thanks to all of you who have participated and who continues to participate and continues to make this program a best practice. Kevin has already promised the governor that this will be a best practice because we will take it across the state of Georgia. Thank you very much. And at this time, the person who is our face of the program as far as the educational component goes, and. Um, I don't know exactly how he wants me to refer to him, but I love this man because he was in my life for several years. Uh, none other than Dr. Paul Presley, the retired headmaster of Savannah Country Day School. Thank you so much, Carol. I do appreciate that. And as, as an educator who spent his life working with teenagers, I must tell you how excited I am. And I'm excited because we have a chance to bring together young people from public schools, from private schools, people who've been homeschooled, to bring them all together in one group, 500 young people. We're going to put them in the workforce. And I think one of the great things is the cooperation that the school board is showing with this. And just for a start, the selection process is going to take place by a lottery system that the school board conducts normally. Um, the key to it is the mentors that these young people will have. Uh, absolutely essential. You've heard that term mentor. Each young person will have a mentor 
throughout the whole nine weeks. And that mentor will visit, will visit the business once. That mentor will work with that business uh, throughout the period. And that mentor will work with the young person if there are any issues, there are any problems on this. Um, the key to it, though, is the mentors will really come into focus at the Friday sessions. What happens on Friday? This is a four days of work, and they come together on a Friday in one location, 500 young people. Now, that already gets kind of interesting, 500 young people on a Friday during the summertime. Uh, this is where we're going to be using the, achievement, the uh, Junior Achievement of Georgia curriculum, and that will be teaching soft skills. There are two tracks on this curriculum. And one track is career success, be studying things like uh, mock interviews, uh, communication, conflict management. And then in the afternoons, we'll be undertaking personal finance, which the basic things of budgeting, of credit, how to be a savvy consumer. And of course, out of this, what we want to have happen is young people will earn hard money. It'll be more than $2,000 a person. But more than that, that investment for the future that help propel them forward uh, to pick up those soft skills. Now we're coming at a great moment, and that moment's defined by the fact that the public school system of Chatham County saw 81% of its students graduate last year. It is now ahead of the state average, and that tells me we're coming at a propitious moment. So thank you, I appreciate this. Martin Sullivan, come in and close us down. Thank you all for coming. The mayor, the aldermen, and everybody else will be available for questions and one-on-one -on -one interviews now. Thank you all for coming. This program was produced by Savannah Government Television, a service of the City of Savannah's Public Information Office.